Here's what Dupuytrens can look like. It starts with minor changes. Skin blanching means that some areas lose that normal pink color stretching the fingers back. All this means is the skin is a little tight. It's lost some of its normal stretchiness because of Dupuytrens. Blanching goes away when the fingers are relaxed. The skin may start looking dimpled or puckered or scrunched up. Tissues shrinking just under the skin pull on the skin from below. Normal skin creases stand out. New creases or small dimpled points can appear. A very common early sign is a nodule, a lump in the palm. These can look like calluses, but they're not. They're often at the base of the ring or pinky finger. They can develop slowly or sometimes show up overnight. The earliest contractures are cords, which feel like strings just under the palm, in front of the fingers. They may feel like tendons, but they're not. These can show up very gradually, slowly tighten, pulling the fingers more and more bent. Over time, these progress to mild contractures, less than 45 degrees. At this stage, they're a nuisance. They make the hand awkward at times. This is the point at which treatment is usually recommended before secondary changes develop in the joints and tendons. More progression to moderate contractures up to 90 degrees starts interfering with the use of the hand. Trouble getting your hand into your pocket, shaking hands, poking your eye when trying to wash your face, that kind of thing. Past 90 degrees, the fingers start catching on things like a hook. It can be hard to wash your hands or the rest of your body. Dangerous when you just can't let go of whatever you're holding. There's a real loss of use of the hand. Every hand with Dupuytrens is different. The ring and pinky fingers are the most commonly affected, but it really can't be predicted. No two hands are alike. Some people have a terrible time with their Dupuytrens. Some people have an even worse time, and there is no cure yet. All these hands used to be perfectly normal. 10 million Americans suffer with hands like these. The Dubuchin Foundation is working for all of them to find a cure.